governments of Guyana and the European Union have signed a 4.6 million euro agreement for the protection and the restoration of Guyana's mangroves over a period of four years. Guyana's minister responsible for finance, Dr. Ashley Singh, and the first vice president of the European Commission, Franz Timmermans, signed the agreement on Wednesday night in the presence of President Irfan Ali at State House. President Ali said the European Union remains one of Ghana's strongest partners in protecting the country's sea defense systems and the coastline. He added that a multi-million euro project is a testament of the EU's commitment to ensuring that Ghana's coast remains safe. Over 200,000 hectares of the country's coastal region is covered in mangroves and suitable for mangrove expansion. The expansion of the mangrove is a proven concept for climate mitigation, as mangroves store five times the carbon stock uh, as other forest sites. So this is an important fact. The mangrove sco stores five times uh, the carbon stock of any other forest type. Mangroves is also because of the lay of layout of Guyana. The mangroves is also closely integrated into the bulk of the population. So it provides some important opportunity for livelihood options. The project, which includes the protection, restoration and monitoring of mangroves, stemmed from an agreement signed between the two sides at the Climate Change Summit in Egypt last year. The Vice President of the European Commission said it was important for the EU to strengthen its bilateral ties with Guyana and in doing so support the preservation of the country's natural resources. Mangroves are such a huge uh, contribution to our fight against the climate crisis. Uh, they are a huge uh, reserve of biodiversity uh, and they, I mean if you I had the occasion to see from, from the air today, if you look at the extent of the mangroves in, in this country, I mean it is a collective responsibility, I believe, of humanity to maintain them and to strengthen them. Mr. Timmermans said the European Commission is pleased to partner with Guyana to support the protection and the restoration of the mangroves along the coastline. According to the EU official, Guyana must be given credit for striking a balance between its development agenda and the protection of the environment. The ambition of your government, Mr. President, to make sure that uh, Guyana in its economic development, in the development of the fossil fuel industry, still maintains its high ambition uh, for uh, climate neutrality and for ma main maintenance of your natural riches, uh, riches, is something we want to be a partner of. And uh, I hope we can elaborate very concrete measures and noting that development should not be at the expense of future generations, the European Commission Vice President also said Guyana provides an ideal example of how countries can strike a balance. So that the development has to go hand in hand with our fight against the climate crisis, with our fight against biodiversity loss, is something that I hope we can together showcase uh, at the end of this year at COP28 in Dubai. President Ali told the EU official that Ghana looks forward to providing leadership at the next climate change summit to be held in the United Arab Emirates. Our entire policy architecture, our policy framework is geared around uh, ensuring that we are adopting the best environmental practices and doing everything in a climate smart way in protecting the environment, advancing our uh, natural attributes of biodiversity, but more importantly, leveraging these natural assets now for uh, uh, improved livelihood, creating economic opportunity, and ensuring that Guyana is not only a location uh, to showcase the natural attributes of uh, biodiversity, uh, the forests, and so on, but more importantly, that we are also an important destination in terms of con the, uh, the continuing academic work, the research, and supporting uh, such, such work in the whole ecosystem. The mangrove project will be implemented by the National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute, NARI, with support from the Ministry of Public Works and the Sea Defense Board.